I have waited a very long time to say this, but we are back in Japan. This time the we is of course Kim, myself, Bob Wolf from Wolf Den, his girlfriend Hannah, our friend E, and his girlfriend Erica. The six of us are going to be exploring everywhere in Tokyo and even a first time for Kim and I, by the end of the trip, we will be in Kyoto and Osaka. Yes, also means Super Nintendo World. This is our first day in Japan. Kim and I heavily requested that we all go to Akihabara, which was easily our favorite place from when we went in 2019. Because it is just nerd mecca with video games and animes and manga. There's this huge street with these tall buildings, each of them just filled with more cool things than the last. Before we even left the train station, we were pumping money into gotcha machines. If you don't know what they are, they each contain an array of little toys. Often they're branded, but sometimes they're just completely random and wacky. You know, it has been hot as heck out here in Japan and I've been sweating a lot. So I've been very thankful for Scentbird, not only for sponsoring this vlog, but also having it with me on this trip. These travel size containers were perfect to take with me. And then I had a bunch of different flavors that I could smell nice with every day. And I take pride in it too. I, I really like smelling good. I, I like when someone's like, hey, you smell nice. What is that? Here's what I have tried. Mood Dioxx. Bulgari Grooming Lounge and Burberry. The Grooming Lounge one is probably my favorite smelling one because it smells very leathery. Kim really likes this Mood Deox one because it smells more vanillary, which makes sense because this one has hints of white tea, vanilla, orange blossom, musk, and red rose. Oh, this one, this Bulgari one also has leather. It has rum, spices, iris, and tuberose. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try a new designer fragrance each month for just $17. And with each fragrance, you get a 30-day supply to try it before you commit to a full bottle. There are over 600 designer brands to choose from. So when you sign up, I highly recommend trying a bunch of different ones and mixing them up and seeing which one you like the most. Look, so whether you want to smell nice for yourself or your special person who you spend a lot of time around and maybe they would appreciate it if you smelled a little better, <laughs> click the link below. You can visit Scentbird's website or scan the QR code that's somewhere on the screen and use my code BEATEMUPS for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. It's only like $8 for your first month. I got it, so I, I sprayed a lot. Okay. <laughs> so this is Akihabara, which is where we spent most of our trip last time. There's so much to see and do here, but we're gonna start in Big Camera. Kim and I visited Big Camera last time, and it is awesome. But this is the equivalent of coming to America and the first thing you do is going to Best Buy. All the games and the nerdy stuff are buried all the way near the top on like the seventh floor. But you walk out onto that floor and you don't know where to look first. It's really loud in here, but this whole store is heaven. It's all video games. Games, Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox maybe. You can never find Xbox in Japan. They just don't care for it. But the Nintendo Switch section, rows and rows and rows of Switch games, both new and used and everything you could imagine. From there, all the way there is Nintendo Switch. And then like there, that's Bob Wolf. This is why I love Nintendo Switch hunting in Japan. I'm in the new section right now, and the first thing that catches my eye is this colorful and bright case called Natsuman. I know it's only available in Japan, and it just looks really cute. People were walking around with this game, checking out and buying it. I'm hoping that means it's good. Either way, I knew I was picking this one up while I was here. This is the first one I grabbed. What I'm looking for are cool looking games that didn't come out outside of Japan. Buying them while I'm here 
here, going home and playing them and then seeing if they're any good. I might buy a couple of duds or I might find a new favorite game. That's what's so exciting. So many of these Japanese release games have an English option. So I'm able to take that risk and buy these games and know that I'll be able to play them and understand them. As far as my holy grail item, I had a long hard think about what I possibly could want to find in Japan and I couldn't think of it. But then I realized that might be because I don't know about it. There is probably a really cool Switch that released in Japan that I've never even heard of or seen before. So I think I'm just hoping to be wowed and surprised by something at some point on this trip. I hope I can just find a cool Switch thing that I just didn't know existed. So Kim found this moon game. I think I found out what it is. It's on the eShop. It's only $20. Looks like an old RPG and it got remastered. I kind of want it. I'm not going to lie, but not for $80. <laughs> Sometimes I get tempted to buy games I already have because the Japanese box art is different and sometimes so much cooler. I don't need to spend $40 on this game again, but I want to. Yeah. Look at this case for Overcooked. Some of these games look so much cooler written in Japanese. And don't get me started on Tears of the Kingdom. Serial Cleaners. I just found this at Big Camera. I can't tell if it plays like XCOM or a graphic adventure, but it looks cool. So I'm willing to give this one a shot. What you got? Snow Bros. Kim loves Snow Bros. She has a lot of good memories of it on NES. If she wants it, we may as well get it here. Put it in the pile. In the pile. Oh, we do make regrettable purchases from time to time here on the Beat em Ups channel. Fitboxing, but the JoJo Bizarre Adventure. I haven't even seen the anime. <laughs> There's a physical here in Japan because of course there is. I guess if Fitboxing is like a first party Nintendo game, this is like a first party Nintendo game physical that didn't release anywhere. Of course I've got to buy that. I'm justifying it now. It's what we call coping. <laughs> nothing in there. I don't want to buy too much here because it's like a Best Buy. It's expensive. Oh, I wanted this too. Yeah, I wanted to play that when we saw that at what convention was that that we went to? Pax. Pax. Yeah, we saw Melon Journey at Pax. We never got to play it there and Kim really liked the look of it. Didn't get a physical in America. Got one here in Japan. Yokai Watch. A series that I, just like many people wish, got English translations and were brought to the West. I figure this is perfect because I am learning Japanese and they say a good way to learn a language is to watch an anime in that language or play a video game. Yokai Watch being so similar to Pokemon, I feel like I'm gonna be kind of familiar with this title and it would be a good one to study and learn with. This looks like the same kind of art as Bug Snacks. It looks like that. It Bam. looks really cute. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. <laughs> she slipped. I wish I could read this so I would know if I would play it. <laughs> well, you missed this one. I saw that one. Uh, I think it's for like babies. Babies. Oh yeah, cookie game. I like this one, yeah. Nah. Not a cookie game. No, cookies on the front, lies on the back. So not only were there tons of Switch games here, there was also a load of Switch accessories. I wish they didn't come in such big bulky boxes so I could make a Switch accessories I found in Japan video. Oh no. <laughs> there are so many weird it's accessories here. Bit. I don't know if it's actual Nintendo brand. It doesn't seem to be, but yeah, cool. I could make a whole weird accessory video yeah, just out of big just camera. From in here. All of them were wackier than the last, but I really took to this vertical dock. So so you put your actual dock on the vertical base and it makes it so when you dock your switch, you're slotting it in at an angle rather than upright. Then I found Dredge, which is a game that blew up recently on Twitch and a lot of people were saying it was really fun. It came to Switch. I didn't get a chance to play it. So why not buy it physically? Also a game called Space for the Unbound. I can't tell if it's a visual novel or an actual game. Not that visual novels aren't actual games. Reminds me a lot of Eastwood in its visual style. Again, I know nothing about it. I think it just looks really cool. I was ready to leave Big Camera, especially because every 30 seconds they loop the theme song. <laughs> Piku, 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 piku camera. Kim got lost down the rabbit hole of these animal figures. There's a whole aisle. There's an other side too. No, yes. no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know much about them, but Kim is planning to do a video for her channel if you want to watch that. Oh, this is cool. If you spend more than 5,000 yen in the store and flash your passport, you get it all tax free. That is so much money saved. You know, last time I made these vlogs, I tried telling everyone that Pokemon is so big in Japan, so much bigger than you can even understand. 
There's Pokemon everything, but like it's hard to do it justice. There is a Pokemon themed everything. And on this trip, I lost count of Pokemon things I saw. Finally leaving Biku 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 camera. We're trying to head to another store, but of course, long gotcha machines. We find a Kirby one. <gasps> you get it? I got, I got this one. Let's go. Yeah, he's happy mad. You're gonna see a lot of these on the trip. We also find some arcade machines and waste some money. I don't think we won anything here. I don't think I did it. I think you did. Ah. Okay. So we moved next door. Didn't have video games, but they were selling pretty much everything else. Anime figures, manga, trinkets. The thing that caught my eye, solid metal Dragon Quest collectible figures. So hecking cool. And I do kind of wish I had bought more of them. The one I really wanted was a metal melted slime. And it is so much heavier than I thought it would be. It could actually be used as an effective paperweight. So I think everybody bought a little something in this store. It's called Koto. Bookie. But right across from Koto Bukiya is Super Potato. There's a bunch of them. They're all around Japan. And they're probably the coolest retro game store in Japan. Now this one in Akihabara, it has two floors, but both floors are very small and very cramped. It's hard to walk around even as one person, but it is so worth going just to see all of the stuff. It's like walking into someone's really awesome video game collection. The way it's all displayed. This is pretty much all retro. All the CRTVs playing old games are really cool. And just seeing all the old Famicom stuff. This section here is nuts. Super Famicom Final Fantasies, Dragon Quest, Romancing Saga, Chrono Trigger. Kinda wanna buy it. I have no reason to. I've been looking everywhere for this. <gasps> Oh no. I kind of wish I had bought this. I didn't, spoiler, but it's called the Pocket HD Advance for GBA. It's a GBA Switch. Yeah. It plays any Game Boy Advance games, handheld or on the TV in HD. None of us were willing to pay this price, but we were all kind of in awe of what it is. It's most likely a... Uh, not good. I did see a Donkey Kong Game & Watch. Bob specifically told me he was looking for one of these, so I found Bob and told him to buy it, and he did. Leaving Super Potato and walking further down the street, we found a store called Softmat. It has a similar vibe of just the electronic section in Big Camera, but they had loads more used Nintendo Switch games. Stay into my existence, spine facing out Switch games, which means I need to look at every one. I kind of can read Japanese, but it's going to be easier for me not to. Wait, are you beat em ups? I am. I can't believe you just recognized me in Japan. I'm sorry, no. I just, I literally like recognized, I saw the earrings and I'm like, wait. <laughs> yeah, my hair's up sweaty. This is actually the first time I was recognized in Japan. The last trip, I only got recognized one time, which I was blown away by that because I'm in Japan. <laughs> Huh? But this time, both Bob and I were recognized multiple times everywhere we went. I'm gonna attribute to two things. One, the channel being slightly more popular. But two, everyone's going to Japan now. I've actually been looking for this. That's the number one game I really wanted. This is like a collector's edition, big pack of it. I don't know. I don't know how much it is just behind this case, I gotta ask. Oh, thank you. Arigato. So I guess the big box was just display. I was still looking for this, so I'm gonna get it anyway. Fate and Kados 1 and 2 HD Remastered. Only released here in Japan. Two of the best GameCube games. JRPGs, where you have a deck of cards that you kind of battle with, but when you select a card, the actual character does the attack. So it feels like a traditional JRPG, but you just go buy a deck of cards. What do you think this is? That's a Nintendo Switch game. Yeah, yeah, it's a good Okay, cool. Thanks for checking. <laughs> Before you said that there was a game that looked like Bug Snacks. This one looks like Bug Snacks. Yeah, even more so, yeah. It was only six, seven dollars. Considering it's in English, figured I'd grab it. He also grabbed a ton of games here. I got a DSI LL. So LL. Region lock for double Japan. L. Double L. But it was like 5,200 yen, which is like 43 bucks. That's and then, crazy. And it's tax free. And with a credit card, it's 5% off. So it ended up being like 35 bucks for an inbox DS. That is you, crazy. At too many games, you already know this. 
This would be like three hundred dollars, uh -huh. easy. Is it region so, free? You can make it region free. You can. I mean. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's, oh yeah. It's, it's not. Ten bucks can get you a long way, you know. Wow. Let's set it up at the Make Cafe. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. You booked it, right? For six. Okay. All right. But just for the two of us. Yeah. Okay. Handhelds in Japan are still pretty affordable and haven't skyrocketed in price. This is going to be something to keep an eye out for the rest of the trip. So the last time we were here, I showed you guys me eating ramen, which was the first time I ever had ramen. It was also one of the first times I had boba. Since then, Kim and I have fallen in love with boba and we get it almost every day back home. So we knew being back here in Japan, we wanted to chase that high. And the first one is here at a place called Coco. Was this one as good as the one that we had that was really really good last time? No, but it was better than most of the teas back in America. It was so good. The best part about Akihabara, almost every single store is worth popping into and just seeing what they have. This one is another little retro store that has two floors. And when I went up to the top floor, the first thing that caught my eye was the GameCube section. There's something about the little packages and the slip cover. They're so different to the way any other game is packaged, but also I love the GameCube. It's my favorite console of all time next to the Switch. It's no surprise I was drawn here, but one game stood out. That game was Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. My voice broke a little bit just saying. You want fries with that? So I looked at this twice and I wasn't gonna get it because it's like 50. Then E saw it too mm -hmm. and said he wants to get it. It's not that much. It's like 29 bucks. That's pretty good. I'll get it if you're getting it. Yeah. I want to be I want to be Paper Mario Bros with you. <laughs> you know what's funny Bob? Hey, they do Dragon Quest That's Switch. what I was about to say. On the first day of this trip, I found the Dragon Quest Switch. <laughs> Last time, it took 10 days. We picked one of the hottest days to get to Japan. It's been 91 degrees today. The sun's setting now, so it's finally cooling down. We've bought a lot. If you end up going to Japan and you like video games, anime, manga, and everything else I keep talking about, you will most likely end up at one of the many book offs. It's mostly manga and books, but their video game sections are huge. Immediately, I found a couple of really cool games here. Just the art on the cases alone make me want to pick them up. But it has been a really long, hot day, and we're all exhausted. So it's probably a good idea to head home and rest for the day. When we got back, Back to the hotel, we opened up some of those blind boxes that we got in that one store across from Super Potato, and I can't remember the name of it right now. And then uh, got Japanese McDonald's. Just wanted to try it. And it tasted a little weird. The sauce I put on it was sweet and different. And eating McDonald's right before bed is a bad idea. I felt really sick the next day. Day two, this morning, waking up, getting Denny's. Denny's in Japan is a lot better than Denny's in America. So we head there for breakfast, and I mean, look at these pancakes, tell me I'm wrong. Then we even hit a Starbucks that was next door. We're really having the authentic Japanese experience this morning. Bob didn't want to go to Starbucks because he thinks that everywhere else is better coffee, so. Although I did get a Yuzu Citrus refresher drink. Everyone else got pumpkin spice latte. Bob loves coffee. I mean, so do I, but Bob has a burning, searing passion for it. And there are so many cute, cool, wonderful coffee shops all around. So often in the morning when we were deciding where to go first, we would check where Bob had coffee places pinned and then go somewhere cool nearby. Just so happened, Bob had one pinned right next to Nakano Broadway. Kim and I loved Nakano Broadway last time we were there. This is Nakano Broadway. It's a big strip filled with a ton of different shops to eat and fun things to do. And then at the end, there's not going to Broadway Mall. I don't know what you call it, but it's a big mall filled with even more places and a lot of anime and manga and stuff like that. There's also a ton of gotcha. So of course, before we get anywhere, we need to waste a bunch of money on a bunch of plastic balls hoping to get something cool inside. Oh. 
Oh, you got it? Literally, I was like, I want Trunks' sword. That's Yo. what I got. Dude. I really wanted to get this Traffic Cone Kirby, and I tried a lot, and I couldn't get it. That's my biggest disappointment so far. Visiting another video game store that has Switch stuff. Here, right in front of this sign after buying the Dragon Quest Slime Controller. This time, I bought Dragon Quest X on Nintendo Switch. That was symbolic. I love this little store. It was on sale, but they didn't charge me for the sale. They charged me full price. I didn't want to argue. Even though I didn't buy a lot of figures or toys today, it's so cool. Just walking into these stores and seeing rows and rows of bag toys, box figures, it's also overwhelming. I'm not sure how you're supposed to choose any of it. There's just so much to see. When I said I wanted to go to Nakano Broadway today, E actually said, oh, I've heard of that. Because there's a store there that sells anime cells. They had books and books and books filled with anime cells. And if you find one, let's say you find a Dragon Ball Z and Gohan doing the Kamehameha and blowing things up. That's the actual image that you saw as a kid on the TV. So you're buying a part of that anime's history. And it's awesome. In one of these toy stores, Kim wanted to buy a couple of trinkets, a little blind box, as well as a cute little cat figure. But the cat figure was behind the glass case. And this was the first time I actually got to use my Japanese. I have legitimately crammed over several months learning as much Japanese Japanese as I could to be better prepared. And this store was the first time I actually got to use it. She wanted a little cat figure and I knew that cat was Neku. I think I said, Ano Neku Gahoshides, which I believe means I want that cat over there. Oh, cool to say, I made sure to say please. We walked over and there was a big glass case with a bunch of stuff in it. And he was like, well, I don't know which one. And I was like, well, how do I point to the one I want? So I saw it had a price on it of 400 yen. So I said, Yon Yaku, which means 400. He literally said, oh, you're yeah. And then grabbed the cat out. And that was the first time that I had an entire, really, I mean, it wasn't an, an entire conversation. It was short, but a full conversation with someone. Let me saw this really sick. It was like this big and it lit up and he had a Kamehameha and I wish I could have bought that, but that's a whole suitcase in itself. We stumbled on another video game store. This is the coolest Smash Brothers box I have ever seen. East face right now. Kim found this. This is actually that. Awesome. Naughty dude. Is this just what their box looked like? It's always like that. I've Japanese never, box I've are so much better. I'm gonna buy it. I am supposed to be here to buy Switch things, and I'm trying to limit myself to that for space, and for that's the content I'm making. But this is my favorite Smash game. I think Ultimate's the best one, but this is the one I have the nostalgia for. And this box art is just so hecking cool. I was about to buy this, and then I saw next to it was the GameCube Smash, and it's only 800 yen, which is like five bucks. Just next to it is my least, this is my least least favorite game of all time and it's more money than smash this game sucks there are some switch games here but honestly i'm not even looking at them they got a box super scope is it in the box yes yo that's actually fire so i got the Rockman dash pack for PSP. WarioWare Twisted. Twisted. Yeah. Ooh, Just because cool the yeah, box I is awesome. That. Yeah, that's yeah. why I got that's it. Really it cool. wasn't too much. And then this was like 15 bucks. It's a DS Lite. I got, you got a lot. I got Pokemon Pinball. Okay, sick. Which was like the most expensive thing, but it's still not bad. Mario Tennis, mm -hmm. Mario Golf, Bomber Boy, and then Pokemon Trading Card Game. Yo, yeah, these all are those sick. are sick. I yeah. love all these. Boxes. I know, I can see why you got those. I don't know what Japanese kids are doing over there. Because me and a bunch of, I'm sure, Americans, American kids, we were horrible. Literally rip the Game Boy color box off, tear into it, get the game out, throw the box away, use it for firewood. It seems like every game in these stores are mwah quality or better. And that was Nakano Broadway. I highly recommend visiting. This place is awesome. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but we're in Japan and we haven't had ramen. It's day two, so I think that's illegal. It's time to get ramen. <laughs> I hecking love ramen. Love isn't a strong enough word. The first time I ever had it was in Japan last time, and I was sold on it. Really excited to go back and get more. We found this tiny little ramen space down an alleyway, and that's always where you find the best ones. It was very basic, but the broth was very good. He also got very mad at me for filming. I actually also bit my lip so bad eating this ramen that it's like swollen up now and 
parts so bad. But the ramen was good. We're leaving Nakano Broadway and heading back towards our hotel in Shinjuku. But the thing about Shinjuku, as I said, there is a lot to do. And right as you get off the train, there's another giant big camera. I just realized something, why I love big cameras so much. I was saying it's like Best Buy. It's actually like Toys R Us. It's a Toys R Us that never closed down. And it's incredible. There's more wacky Nintendo Switch accessories. There's a bunch of games here I haven't seen before. One just has an eye on it, which is very threatening. But then there's this other one called Hunt Down, which kind of looks like a side-scrolling action blast em up beat em up game. This one's an easy one to take a risk on. I also wanted to get Blade Arcist from Shining. I very almost did because the cover made it look fun. But it was 64 on Metacritic, so I picked Hunt Down. Kid got lost down another rabbit hole. <laughs> Which is funny because I'm pretty sure some of the things she bought were actual rabbits. Oh no, look at all of them. Need a little oven to match your fridge? Yeah, I was thinking about it because I got this fridge and I got the little kitchen table. The little toilet is just so cute. Little you guy. Can buy them individually. Little guy. <laughs> oh my god, look at all of them. they had the fox you wanted. They might. Everybody else. Again, she'll do it on her channel. We should probably head home. But what is a better nightcap than another brown sugar boba? You're gonna have to get used to this. We had a lot of boba on this trip. Whew. That's the first two days of our adventure here in Japan. We still have about six days left. Again, we're here in Tokyo, but we're also in Kyoto, Osaka, and so many other fun places. I am so happy to be back and having such a fantastic time with Kim and all of my friends. If you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see the next episode, it's coming very soon. We'll have to subscribe. Johnny! Mata Asta!